Lesson number eight, basic um, slap bass lesson. Let's start off with the thumb position. So upright thumb position is when your bass is a bit high. So above your waistline, then you probably gonna use your thumb in an upright position. If your bass is lower than your waistline, like some of the basses loves that, then your thumb position will be downwards. Okay, now the wrist rotation technique is it's like opening a doorknob. That's how you are going to do your slap technique. It's not like the slapping is the arm. It's not arm that will slap the base. There's not much control when you're slapping it like that. It's more of the twisting or rotating motion of your wrist. So try and open a, um, a door and then put your thumb in an upright position. So that's how you slap your bass. And if you got a notebook on the desk, you can try and do that for your slap technique. That's a good exercise as well. So that you are trying to feel the side of your thumb. That's the one that will hit the string. Okay. Now the next step is where to slap. If you're slapping here, it's, it's not a good um, response to your slap technique if it's too close to your bridge. If you slap over here, then you are hitting the fret. It might create an, a harmonic sound or it might create a different note because it will sound like tapping technique rather than slap so when you slap it should be after the last uh, fret uh, the sound when you slap it will also bounce on the last fret all right and then just keep practicing your rotation technique That's your basic slap technique. And then to develop your coordination, try and slap an open string, let's say E, and then mute it. Right, let's do an exercise with your slap. So open string, E, mute. And then we can do a triplet. So slap slap mute slap slap mute slap slap mute so it's like triple let triple let triple let and then you develop your speed paradiddle technique is the right left right right left right left left this one is more like a percussion, a drums, a exercise, or rudiments. So you got slap, mute, slap, slap, mute, slap, mute, mute, slap. Alright, so paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Once you develop that one, especially with the speed, it will sound really good right it's a tricky uh, exercise but um, it's also essential to train your brain and your arm uh, coordination and then the last bit about um, slap based technique is the slap and pop so pop is it depends which uh, finger you're going to use uh, it's like a trigger finger this this position your index finger so when you're slapping and when you rotate outwards you are going to pop slap pop slap pop so when you are going to exercise the slap and pop you can do slap mute slap and then pop so slap mute slap pop 
Some people uses the middle finger to pop. It depends on uh, the size of your hand, the angle of your bass. So there's uh, lots of ways to do it. But for me, the one that's working uh, for me is the upright f position of your thumb and then the index finger it's uh, holding it like a trigger and then slap and pop so you pop while you are rotating outwards so rotating inwards and then when you rotate out you pop and then the octave technique is a really good exercise to slap and pop so G for example and then your octave or you can do the exercise that we did early on the slap mute slap pop slap mute slap pop slap mute slap pop so if it's on G so we start with the open and then when we instead of mute we hit the the note G slap again and then up A B so this is your very basic with um, slap and pop you can do a chromatic as well with your slap and pop right happy with that